Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to thank you guys for stopping by and checking these videos out from us. Uh, also, you can follow me on social media if you like the content on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, also, give me a quick like and subscribe. It helps these videos reach a broader audience and it can help a lot more people. It's free, it's easy to do, but it really helps me out and I really appreciate that. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you on the next one. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I uh, wanted to do a quick video today. This is my favorite, personal favorite, river and creek floating kayak. So you can see it behind me here. This is the Jackson Kayak Tripper 12. So the, the color you see here, this is Solar Eclipse. This is a 2022. Uh, the only thing difference between this and a 23 is just gonna be your color scheme. Uh, the Tripper comes in, MSRP is $1,469. It weighs 67 pounds, which is really great for a 12 foot floating kayak. Uh, 375 pound max as far as your capacity. That is paddler plus gear. Uh, so keep that in mind. And I've always felt like Jackson is, Jackson's always been really conservative on their weight capacities. So again, kind of take that with a grain of salt there. But uh, so I'll just kind of start in the front. And again, this is personal opinion. This is my favorite floating kayak. When I say floating, I mean like rivers and creeks, just recreational floating, maybe taking a fishing rod with me to fish a little bit. Uh, we've got a lot of rivers and creeks around here that are great for floating, uh, just wreck and then some good fishing as well, as well as lakes, which this will handle as well. But I'll kind of go over, you know, front to back, just kind of some features, what I like about them. Uh, again, I'm 6'5", I'm about 260, so, Keep that in mind as well. Um, you know, I, I take a little bit of gear with me. I'll take some food, some water, but that's about, I'm kind of a minimalist on my, my river and creek floating. But uh, in the front here, you got these uh, comfort grip handles. Uh, you got bungee here if you want to strap any kind of, uh, you know, dry bags, any kind of gear, camp, camp equipment. Uh, you got some rigging here as well and some additional hooks installed on it if you wanted to run even more on there. Um, if you're familiar with Jackson's lineup also, the Tripper is the same hull design as the Kilroy. So if you want something that's a little bit more fishing specific, keep that in mind as well. Um, again, something like this, you can throw a, a spinner rod or two, a couple Plano boxes, you're fine. If you want something a little bit more elaborate, like uh, horizontal rod storage, you've got that on the Kilroy. Uh, you got a little bit more gear track, a little bit more mounting options, but for just getting out on the rivers, enjoying some scenery and some nature, this is kind of where it's at for me. Uh, so I like this. If I'm on rivers and creeks, I'm typically going to be in a sit inside, or in this case, what I'd call kind of a hybrid. You have a really, really large opening, so it's a little bit more of a crossover between kayak slash canoe. Uh, it's got that really nice Jackson seat on it. So that seat is a high-low this is gonna be the same setup as you see uh, on like the Take Two or the U-Pick. You've got Jackson's really nice uh, adjustable foot pegs. It's just the pinch and slide and then the lock in place. Got the little divider here that just kind of keeps uh, you know, just structural integrity on there, but you got a lot of room in there if you wanna store some dry bags or some camp gear as well. You've also got a lot of room behind the seat. If you got like a small tackle bag, but one thing that I'm a really big fan of on any sit-inside kayak is your sealed bulkhead. So that segments your hull. If you were to dump it over and you get a lot of water in it, it keeps it from just swamping completely and sinking. Uh, you know, so if you're, if you're worried about that, get you a bilge pump, get you a sponge, just something to kind of bail water out for, for just a little bit. Uh, one thing you will get with a large opening like this, depending on uh, how how technical you are on your paddling skills. You will get a little bit of a water splash in here. So you'll get a little bit in there, but nothing crazy. But it's it's a Jackson. So what do you get with a Jackson? You get you get stability. So it's got a little bit of a flat, uh, a flat area here. That gives you really good stability. You've got a really nice keel line. Uh, this is one of their one of their best paddling kayaks in my opinion. So it tracks really well that flat hole under where the seat is in addition to the stability you get you also get something that's going to skim across the top of the water but that's going to allow you to turn it really quickly so uh fishing terms if you're wanting to 
you know, go over a shoal and you want to turn immediately to kind of fish that area really good, or if you're just recreational floating. So in fishing terms, uh, with the Kilroy, uh, it, it, that better handling is going to allow you to go over those shoals and then turn back, you know, back into it to kind of fish those little areas. Uh, that's where those smallmouth are usually hiding. And again, those, uh, the Kilroy is going to have that horizontal rod storage inside here. It's going to have different mountings with, you know, gear track and things like that on it. But for just floating, this is kind of where it's at for me personally. Um, I was wanting to show you guys also the, so you do have a little bit of a, what I call a Tupperware lid rear storage here. Again, none of this is what I call waterproof, but this is about as close as you're going to get. And one thing Jackson does, you can see, uh, you've got these little, uh, you know, side drains here where the water, it keeps the water from collecting here and then going into it. And you've also got a really nice raised lip on that. So that keeps water from going in there as much. But if you do turn it over for a long period of time, obviously water is going to find its way in there. Uh, you got a plastic lid on a plastic boat. So again, that, that water is going to, or sorry, the, the heat is going to flex it. It's going to mold it a little bit over time. So that's why we never say it's waterproof. Uh, water resistant maybe, but... And then on the back here, you've got the comfort grip handles that you see on the front. So those are easily replaceable. It's not something, since it is fabric here, it's kind of a woven fabric, it's tough, but it's not something I wanna ratchet down super tight if you're securing it to a trailer or the back of a truck. And then on the bottom, kind of see under there what the hull looks like. So you do have those little, those little channels there. That helps with tracking, but it's kind of flatter underneath where the seating area is so it does it allows you to run a higher seat position without losing your stability too much uh, and as you get used to the kayak that higher seat position you'll find yourself probably doing that a little bit more and not worrying so much about the uh, the stability of it uh, and that's really with any kayak so getting used to it in the water even if you're an experienced kayaker if you're getting into a new kayak it's going to handle a little different it's going to have some different limitations to it but Anyways, guys, that's that's kind of the Tripper 12 in a nutshell. Uh, one of that's my favorite, uh, you know, recreational river creek kayak. Again, it's great on the lakes also, uh, but it's going to shine on the lake and that it paddles really easily. Um, it's lightweight, so it's not super heavy. It's not going to be a load to carry around like a lot of your heavier fishing kayaks are, and it's going to allow you to kind of get into some areas that. Uh, you know, you wouldn't normally get into, you're gonna be able to do that with a lot of gear on, uh, you know, in your kayak. But uh, anyways, if you have any, if you have any experience with the, the Tripper or the Kilroy, cause they're basically the same kayak, same kayak setup, let us know down in the comments. Uh, it can help somebody that's maybe looking to get into one, uh, you know, maybe inform them a little bit better. And if you have any questions for me on this boat, or again, or the Kilroy, I'm kind of grouping them both together since they're, the whole design is pretty similar. Uh, let me know down in the comments. I'll get to you as soon as possible. And without further ado, we'll see you on the next one.